I'm confident that no one's ever completed this round 100 challenge, let alone attempted it until today. And that's getting to round 100 with the worst loadout possible. Now, when I say worst loadout possible, there isn't a whole lot of options that are worse than the ZRG, but I feel like this would be the most painful. And on top of that, I'm using the energy mine as my field upgrade. And just to show you how awful these weapons are in the three years that Cold War has been out, I've only gotten 3,317 kills with the ZRG, and that was just to get it dark aether and never touch it again. And in those three years, I only have 138 kills with energy mine. I have not touched this fuel upgrade at all. So let's hop in and see just how far we can get. And I just know that little Timmy out there is going to be in the comments right now going, well, actually, I love the ZRG. That's my favorite gun in the game. And energy mine, it's actually very underrated. Bro, just go eat a croissant for breakfast, trying so hard to be different. This gun's cheeks. But if anything, what I think I'm going to get out of this is that I'm going to hate the ZRG even more than I did coming into it. And I feel like that I'll end up liking the energy mine a little bit. That's just my prediction. I'm already regretting this challenge. The ZRG is just so slow to shoot. This round 100 is going to take me like two business weeks. It actually just looks so odd seeing the energy mine down in the bottom right. I'm just not used to that icon at all. And just to add a little insult to injury for myself, I'm going to use Napalm Burst as our ammo mod. I feel like every single other ammo mod is used relatively often, but I never see anybody use a Napalm Burst. Shatter Blast is like far and away the best ammo mod out there. I feel like people use brain rot just to have those zombies helping them out. Deadwire used to be the best ammo mod out there before it got nerfed. And Cryo is like the best ammo mod for grinding out camos, but I never see anybody even mentioning Napalm Burst. And we already got our first Megaton. I put a few shots into him and you know what? I'm going to get the ZRG props where it's warranted. It does a pretty decent amount of damage. It's just so slow. And just not worth using. But actually, we got a decent amount of zombies here with the Megaton. Let's try out our first energy mine. I'm going to go put it right on them. Oh, okay. Almost completely took out our Megaton, but it took out that whole horde of zombies. What does it do against these guys? Wow, 152 damage per little pulse there. And it's only going to get worse. Let's just do our little coffin dance Easter egg while I try to figure out a strat. Because I'm going to be honest, I have zero strategy planned going into this. Because mainly when I do round 100 challenges on this map, it's me training around the starting room and just like, you know, throwing on shatter blast to whatever weapon I'm using. And then that'll end up just getting the majority of the kills for me. But that's not an option in this one. I think I'm just going to have to train around and uh, try to get as many kills with the energy mine as possible. But what we can do is with the energy mines, if you place one down, it'll never go away unless a zombie touches touches it so we could just have like a stockpile or like little mines thus the name energy mine that we have planted in different spots on the map that we can run to but honestly i don't know how helpful that's going to be if i have to constantly be moving areas and switching up spawns it's going to make this round 100 go like forever it's going to be the longest round 100 I've ever done. But we have that option. And on top of that, we can store up to two energy mines. So I don't know. It, it could be a strat. I'm just kind of spitballing here. And I'm still trying to figure out how we're going to fill up our field upgrade. Because this ZRG, as slow as it is, it does not fill up our field upgrade as much with just one or two zombie kills per shot. It's going to take us like 20 to... 25 shots to get one energy mine so i'm just gonna hope that these zombies drop a whole lot of nades or mollies or whatever so i can take them out easier and just to make things a little more interesting let's go ahead and turn on the rampage inducer i've been complaining about how slow this is gonna be why don't we speed things up oh no even just going to scope in with the zrg is gonna get me killed i have to basically stand still to scope this thing in maybe i need stamina up oh great a Megaton showing up on our first Rampage Induce around. Uh, oh, wait, hold on. Did that Crystal I break drop the Ray K? Is that what that is right there? No, I'm stupid. Why would it drop the Ray K? That's the AK-74U. What map am I playing on? The ZRG is already giving me brain damage. You know what? Energy Mine. Eat it. Ooh. The Energy Mine's really good for taking out hordes of zombies. But basically, every other field upgrade is too. So it, it don't got a whole lot going for it right now. If anything, though, this actually might be the perfect combo of weapons. Because if the Energy Mine can take out all the zombies, the ZRG does a pretty decent job against the Megatons. So let's try this out. I'm going to throw a decoy onto a molly. That should give us an Energy Mine. And now we're ready for the next wave of zombies to show up. Oh, and actually the Megatons are walking through the molly too, idiots. I'm actually feeling kind of decent about how I'm going to do for this challenge. I mean, knock on wood, but it's basically going to be like this the whole way through. I just need to find a way to make it more efficient. 
Okay, energy mine's actually nasty. What the fuck? When did that happen? Ah. Uh. Oh yeah, this energy mine does absolutely nothing to the Megaton. Like 400 damage is nothing for this dude's health. We might just have to leave the Megatons alive. Ooh, okay, maybe not. They are way too scary to be kept alive. We might not have a choice whether or not the Megatons stay. It's been like two, maybe three rounds and they're still here. Actually, this dog round is helping out. We just have to avoid the Plague Hounds and get the, our shots off. Because if we can hit a crit on these guys, they're dead. It's just hard getting the shot off with this. I'm hoping this energy mine stays killing like this in the later rounds. Like, we're only on round 21, and it just killed, like, a fully armored zombie, but I can't wait to see what it does at health cap. It's honestly not even worth it to scope in with the ZRG anymore. All I'm doing is no scoping, which really sucks for trying to get critical kills on this abomination or this megaton. I don't even know the fuck I'm doing. See, uh, like I said, this, this shit's giving me CTE, but I'd rather miss a few shots than uh, get slapped to death while trying to scope in with this. Okay, now we have a separate issue. I'm a lot of decoys and mollies because I fucked up a molly throw. And I only have one energy mine. So I'm just going to have to raw dog it with the ZRG for this round. Oh, get killed right here. No, energy mine saved my life. Maybe I've misjudged you, energy mine. You were here for me when I wasn't there for you. Ah! Oh, those zombies, even as the nuke was going off, almost got me killed. They had me staring down the Megaton. I locked eyes with him. I could see his whole life story. It just through his retinas. And at the end of the story was me dying. I, I had to go ahead and change the, the future right there. That was fucking scary. So I was mentioning earlier about placing mines around the map as like an insurance policy or something to go for. I think the spot that I found is probably gonna be like right here. Cause I don't think zombies will go over there unless I do. So if anything happens that's crazy, I can just kind of Bring my happy ass over to this corner and maybe it'll help out. So that's a little mouse tool that can help us out later. Let's just hope I don't accidentally set it off when I'm like trying to craft or anything. But if I do, maybe it'll save me while I'm crafting. Maybe it's a smart placement. What? Okay, well, there goes that energy mine. I'll just place another one back down. That's got to be like the worst thing about energy mine is that just one zombie can set it off. So you spend all that time getting your field upgrade charged up just for one zombie to get killed by it. That's awful. But to be honest, if you really prefer training in Cold War over like camping, this is like one of the better field upgrades that you can use. Oh, no, 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 no. We were dangerously close to having our first down right there. That Megaton slapped the fuck out of me. We made it all the way to round 50. We're halfway there and we've only just had like a few close calls. So far, so good. I mean, knock on wood. Because me saying that it's going good just basically means that I'm about to go down. But we're, we're approaching health cap and we haven't really ran into too many issues. Energy mine's kind of carrying. And it still is one shot in the zombies all the way up here. I don't think it's going to fall off in five rounds. At least I hope not. All right. Here's the real test. We're at health cap. Zombie health isn't getting any higher than this. They just might get a little bit faster. And this is the last round of our rampage inducer. So say goodbye to those fast spawns. And just to show you where our weapon and fuel upgrade is at here. Uh, here's a quick energy mine. Still kills all the zombies. Energy mine. Actually underrated. And for the ZRG. It doesn't even one shot a zombie. It probably would if I hit a headshot, but I ain't taking all that time to aim with this. Oh, and the ultimate test. Big daddy's here. These guys have been a pain in the ass this whole run. They just tank shots from the ZRG. Absolutely doing nothing to them. And our energy mine does even less. Actually, that was 9,000 damage. That's not terrible, but I'm pretty sure these guys have like... 70,000 health or some crazy shit like that. But the ZRG can kind of do work on them. We got them to split. What about against the bombers? How's this doing? Nothing, because they're out of range. Ooh, there we go. It only takes 800 shots, if I'm accurate. But it'll get it done eventually. Right here. And these are our last zombies. We are now... Moving on to a world without the Rampage Inducer for the next 44 rounds. Oh, no. Woo. We are not hair away from going down right there. Oh, fuck. 
Oh no! We almost went down again. Our armor just keeps getting depleted immediately. I'm taking some bad training angles, but these zombies are hitting hard as fuck. Oh, energy mine to the rescue. I gotta stop going up those steps. Round 69. Moving on to the sex round. Let's hope we don't get fucked. And we didn't get fucked. A little update for you. Oh no. What am I doing? Oh, I'm throwing. I'm throwing the game is what I'm doing. You know what? Actually, I'm getting armor. That's what I came in here for, of course. Never once in all the times that I, I've sat and like trained in the first room on D-Machina have I ever just tried to run into Knocked. I don't know why I did that time. Really fucking stupid mistake and I somehow didn't go down from it. Oh no. Our little insured energy mine's gone. Got the total of one kill again. But it's been sitting there for 60 rounds. It's about time it did something. Round 90. Only 10 more to go. And so far, we've been flawless throughout this whole thing. Let's hope it stays that way. Oh, no. Oh, that was so close to being our first down. Again, on the fucking stairs of death. I don't know why I keep going up them. Even after telling myself not to. It's the Megaton's fault. I'm blaming the Megaton. I'm just trying to avoid getting slapped into oblivion by it. Oh, a dog round on round 98. One round early from being perfect, but you know what? I'll take it. Now our last round. We've made it this far with just the ZRG and the energy mine. Lol honorable mention to Molotovs, nades, and decoys. But this has been like one of the smoothest round 100s I've ever done. It might be like one of the longest because we're approaching four hours right now. I'm at three hours, 59 minutes. But the only times where we had like close calls of going down is me being a dumbass, which isn't out of the ordinary, but it's had nothing to do with like the ZRG or the energy mine. Because look at this. Energy mine, bam. Still kills everything at round 99. Energy 9 actually underrated. ZRG, however, properly rated as ass. It definitely will still like one shot zombies with headshots, but it's just so slow and not worth it. Even when Megatons show up, it's hardly even like a threat against them. And speaking of Megatons, we got one spawning. What's going on, pal? This is really how I've been dealing with these Megatons. I'll throw a decoy kind of near them, hit them with a nade or a molly, whatever I got. And they still tank that damage like it's nothing. Shoot them in the mouth. Still does nothing. Oh no! And there's our first down. I had to say something. We almost had the flawless game with the ZRG. Oh, and there's a nuke. We need that. I need you splitting. Please. We do not have stamina up anymore, which is a huge problem at this round. But you know what? I'm going to tough it out. There's not that many zombies left. Actually, there's probably a bunch more that are going to spawn in, but... Nothing an energy mine can't handle. You know, we just like to add a, a few dramatics here at the end. Oh, more than a few. Holy fuck. It feels like I'm like speed walking after losing stamina up. And having no PhD slide is also very weird. Now I'm starting to stress out. This is the most stressed I've been throughout this whole run. I had to say it was going so smoothly. Oh, and there's round 100. Let's fucking go. You know what? I had something safe for this round 100. And I'm not talking about these Megatons. They can stay alive. But throughout the past few rounds, since like round 65, I've been storing energy mines up here. So we'll see how long we can last up in Penthouse now that we've made it to round 100. Let's go ahead and throw a nade though before they get too close. And let's just let the energy mines do all the work. We'll see if we can get through this round. Or if all these energy mines can take out a Megaton. Oh, it looks like it did. Sweet. I mean, it was already split, so kind of cheating, but it's whatever. I'm just the kills <laughs> Let's just keep throwing these decoys. Oh, a cashmere, go. And basically all of our energy mines are gone. That took no time at all. But you know what? Another energy mine, easy. And some mollies. We'll throw these at the spawns. Keep an energy- Oh no, my energy mine went through the floor! Through the crack in the fucking floor! Alright, now we're going down. And we're back up, because I'm the greatest. If I can survive this, I'll exfil. But this is actually insane. That crack in the floor basically got me killed. But now I'm just picking up all the scraps these zombies are leaving behind. Oh wait, is this the last one? There you go. Eat that energy mine, buddy. Let's try to get our perks back and get out of here. So all perks are active. 
There's some armor. And let's go try to exfil. We don't have a decoy to start off the exfil, though. I'm gonna have to try to buy one. I can buy one easily. And nades. A decoy. Let's start the exfil. Let's get out of here. Hopefully. I don't even know if I can make it through knocked. Oh, I can. Let's go. I'm actually so pissed that I went down on round fucking 99. Almost a flawless with a ZRG and energy mine. That would have been insane. But we can just nade him. Eat that. Throw down an energy mine. Enjoy that one. Let's keep trying to whittle down these zombies. We still got to get a few shots off on this Megaton. At least get him splitting soon. Because it's going to be a problem if we can't kill this guy. We will not be able to get out of here. Come on. The final battle. Let's toss a nade on him. I don't think that's going to do anything. He's still immune. Oh, it did. Plus a C4. Oh, only 30 seconds to kill these two. Come on, ZRG. Now's the time. Prove to everybody you're a decent weapon. It might help if I hit him in the head. Oh, we got one more. Come on. Come on. Come on. Almost there. Oh, oh we got it. Let me on. Oh, last second exfil too. Sounded like I found my G spot, but we made it out. Whew. Like I said, smoothest round 100 I've ever done. That's 13,000 kills, 197 crits, insane number for the ZRG, and two downs. Both happening right there at the end. We actually got it done. I'm curious to see how many kills I have with energy mine now. My level up's fucked. Oh, that's just because I'm the greatest. Look at that. 800 levels right there. What about my medals? What's the most medals I got? Crispy. I used a lot of Molotovs that game. A lot of decoys that game as well. Death Trap is my energy mine metal. And a lot of these bad boys. Now what's energy mine at? Oh, energy mine's moved up past Aether Shroud. I have 5,000 eliminations with it now. I started with 138 and I forgot to grab this earlier when I was recording with my ZRG kills to not go up a whole lot. But there you have it. We got round 100 with the worst loadout possible. And honestly, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. But I'm going to go ahead and end it here. I appreciate your guys love and support and I'll see you in the next one later.